Uh, now to a different kind of sports headline this morning, and it involves Serena Williams, who we showed you at the top of the show. She's pretty much won everything you can win in the game of tennis, with one big exception. That big exception we're talking about is a Grand Slam, which is, of course, winning all four major championships in the same calendar year. But now, after a decisive victory at Wimbledon on Saturday, Serena's just one win away from that elusive prize. And GMA's Lara Spencer got the exclusive interview. Hey, Paul and Dan, what a weekend here at Wimbledon, capped off by this woman, the 2015 champion, Serena Williams. How's that sound? It sounds amazing. It sounds really exciting, and it's still kind of hard to believe when I'm happy. It has sunk in, but I still feel like um, I just am so excited to have an opportunity to win. You know, this was my goal of the year was to win Wimbledon. Why Wimbledon? Why is that Why? the goal? I hadn't won it in a few years, yeah. and so I was like, you know, it's that time. It's that time. I need to win Wimbledon again. So this year, um, just had a different approach of just staying relaxed and mm -hmm. then just staying in the moment and just focusing on one match at a time. And almost was out of it for a little bit, uh, two uh, points away from being out of the tournament. And now you scared me, my friend. Me too. <laughs> I was scared. Two consecutive double faults. Is Serena feeling the pressure? But I hung in there and yeah. now I'm here. Yeah. Balancing the trophy on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Doing everything I can with the trophy because they take it away so fast. Right. So, like, so you just have to appreciate yes, the, enjoy moment. the moment. And I notice you look at your player's box a lot. Yes. Just like looking at your family and Venus yeah. and your friends. And we won't name drop, but there were some very cool friends in there. But does that give you comfort? Does it give you energy? Because I notice you do it quite a few times. I do. You know, I'm that player that always looks over, just like, is that okay? Is that good? Yeah. So, um, and when you got a point, you, would, you know, it was like... In your face, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but of course, the my box. Yes. But um, no, I just... It, it gives me energy. It keeps me calm. It gives me confidence. Right now, all eyes are on you, and I know you haven't wanted to talk about it, but it's done. So, Serena Slam 2.0. 2.0, oh. it is. Is it sweeter than 1.0? The first time around? Yeah, I think it's definitely better. 2.0 is better because it just feels so good. I still like, I'm like, I really won four Grand Slams in a row. I got in another Serena Slam. It's just an amazing feeling. So yeah. I'm trying to enjoy that moment. We'll see you at the U.S. <laughs> Open. <laughs> yes. And we will see you guys back in New York on Good Morning America on Monday. Will you say goodbye to Bye. Dan and to Paula? Dan and Paula, see you. Uh, the Wimbledon <laughs> champion, everybody. <laughs> She oh, said our names. Well, we're like this, all of us. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't. She didn't name the people in the in the uh, box there. The but I saw Drake. Mm -hmm. I couldn't pick out any other celebrities. Any? Do you notice anybody notable? Just Drake. Just Drake. Anna Wintour, right. I think, was there as well. Oh, but you know, nice. the four majors: the Aussie Open, mm -hmm. the French Open, the U.S. Open, which is. Hey, you, up Paula. Open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jeez. one of us knows something about the <laughs> So much better that. than <laughs> anyone <laughs> else on the women's side. I, it's, you can't she's see dominant. her not losing the rest yeah. of this year. Yeah. 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 Powerhouse.